it's sim color here and before I begin let me just say I'm sorry for not being uploading as much I had a lot of work to do at college and work on my own so uh, yeah I'm going to start to make more videos uh, by now and yeah so this will be the first one on the Uber series because I already explained this on the Tinder series so first of all let's get that out of the way and let's jump right into the video and today you are going to start working on the payments and the first thing that we we got to do is to actually get the the right cost and to do that i'm simply going to grab the the number of the distance that the driver rode both to get the customer and to drop off the customer um, and I'm simply going to grab that number and divide it by two and that will be my formula for for the price of the ride. You can do it as you will. This is my this is what I'm going to do. Uh, and yeah, let's just uh, get right on with it. And the first thing that we are going to need is to grab the Uber project and go inside the driver map activity, obviously. So um, yeah. The first thing that we are going to do is to add a variable, a global variable that's going to hold and is going to increment uh, the distance traveled. So, uh, private float right distance. Okay, so this right distance will be incremented in a, a function that we already did, which is the, and let me try and find it. Gosh, I really have to comment this all. So yeah, let me just make this a tiny bit bigger, okay? And we are going to do that on on location changed function. As you may remember, this function is called uh, upon every second. So every second we'll get a new uh, location composed of a latitude and longitude. And so all we have to do is find a way to calculate the distance between the last location and the the, the current location and get the kilo, kilo, kilometers or meters or miles or whatever we want and add them up to the right location. So we are going to do it right here at the top and the reason why I'm doing it uh, in here instead of below in here because uh, we are going to do an if and I'll write it down just so that you can understand it better so customer ID dot equals doesn't equal uh, this. So, and you might think, well, why don't we just do it here? Because this if is doing basically the same thing as this switch. Well, the reason is because we in here we update the, the last location, and uh, we then the last location becomes the same as the current location. So we gotta do it beforehand, and that's why I'm doing it here. So right distance plus equals this uh, plus equals is an increment. So that means that everything that's uh, inside it is right distance plus something. And we simply say uh, and last location dot distance to location. And this is quite a, a helpful function that we can call, and it is uh, given to us by. Uh, uh, Android and I don't remember which package it is but it must be Maps or Google Maps or something like that and it gives us the location between two uh, coordinates so we have two coordinates coordinates here that should be different even though if they are the same it doesn't really matter because it will just add up to zero and yeah but uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you can uh, say uh, see control actually it doesn't say but uh, from testing I could uh, figure out that it gives us the distance in meters and because we are dealing with quite big distances I think it makes a lot more sense to use kilometers so I'm just going to divide it by a thousand and that's it so now all that's left is to first of all go inside the on right end or end right and clear up the right distance, so make it zero, and then to record the right distance inside uh, the database. So 
simply copy and paste one of the map dot puts say distance and write distance and that's it we don't need to do anything else to record the distance traveled now we gotta show it so for that we go inside the history single activity and I'm going to uh, create two global variables uh, where do I create them? right here and one of them will be a string called distance and another will be a double called write price okay so now that we have both those um, variables we can go inside this uh, function get write information and as you may remember uh, get write information gets all the information in that's here and as you can see I've already tested it uh, and you can see here uh, kilom 274 kilometers in the distance uh, child inside the history child so that's exactly what we need let's go uh, below and I'm going to place it under rating so simply grab another if and say instead of in this case rating it is distance and now we can say distance equals to child dot get uh, not key uh, but value dot to string and then we can update the right distance uh, text view set text distance dot substring and I'm going to only paste because as you can see I'm going to explain to you so as you can see the distance saves a lot of decimal numbers that we don't need so I'm going to cut this big uh, and first of all uh, the this get value oops this get value uh, will get all the string uh, all the the value in a string because I change it into a string and so I'm going to cut it so that only five um, characters can appear so it isn't uh, perfect because if you drive more than 9999 kilometers then it wouldn't show up and it would uh, give a strange thing but because I don't believe anyone writes 9,999 kilometers in a uh, in a in a Uber, so I'm not going to bother by that. Uh, so this is just a simple fix for that. And so in order to cut a string, you simply say the string that you want dot substring zero, which is the beginning, comma math dot min. And this is to get the length, distance, dot length, comma, dot length has too much, yeah, commas inside, so comma, five. And this five is the number of characters that I'm going to to be placing inside it. And yeah, then I'm just going to add a text saying kilometers, and you can change this to miles if you want. It's really uh, simple, and not a comma there. And yeah, uh, y this yellow will appear, but uh, you don't have to worry about this. Just click Alt Enter and add the suppress add at whatever and it will will disappear and add these lines uh, this line right here so nothing to worry about and now let's calculate the price which is right uh, price equals to double and as I said uh, the price will be equal to half the distance so if it is uh, 100 kilometers the price will be 50 euros or uh, US dollars wherever so dot value of distance times 0 0.5 and that's it so 
let's run the app and see if everything checks out. So the app finished loading, let's just uh, make the driver working, okay, let's call over. And it should appear in no time, okay, I'm just going to let it run for a couple of seconds because I'm using the app called Fake GPS which uh, forces the GPS to, to move every, every second or so and as you can see here in the text view you can see the driver moving because it, this is the distance for, uh, from the driver to the customer so yeah let's just run it okay big customer it should continue working let's say drive completed and now in here a child is added of this drive and as you can see the distance is 0 0.42 kilometers so yeah if you go in here and into history and scroll down because the last one in here it is inverted we can take care of it uh, uh, in the next lessons so that the the last the first uh, uh, um, layout to appear the first right to appear is the last one which makes more sense so now let's go inside here and as you can see it appears 0 0.423 kilometers so yeah everything is working just fine uh, in the next lesson we'll move on to the um, paypal part because that's what we are going to use in order to make payments uh, i'm still trying to figure out how we are going to do but uh, if you want to listen i'm going to make a quick summary of it so we are going to make a payment uh, in each ride and the in the first in the first lesson so the customer will pay inside the the easter single page and it is he is going to pay for that ride and he is going to pay to our account so the main account the, the account of the app it is going to receive all the money and after that the the driver will have a, a button called a payout button and when he clicks that button he'll remove uh, the money that's owed to him uh, from our PayPal to his uh, PayPal so I believe that's the easiest way I've been looking into paying directly user to user but I don't believe that's possible or that's not easy because you'll, you would have to make two payments both from the for the driver and for your app so yeah that's the the best way but we'll get into it in the next lesson so again thank you all very much for watching i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao